stagnation that that our government spent over five trillion in COVID relief funding, and we can't find five hundred and sixty billion, I believe, of that money of the Americans hard earned hard earned taxpayer funding. Uh, we're also a nation at thirty four trillion dollars in debt, and we're on the verge of um, having to handle our debt ceiling. Uh, raise it once again. Um, and here we are looking at waste, fraud, and abuse. And I, gentlemen, I thank you for coming and speaking to our committee on this issue. I know it's been a long day for you. But I would like to ask some questions about the type of funding that has been used with COVID relief funds. And it's pretty shocking to me. Um, you know, I read some examples. For example, Washington, D.C.'s Mayor Muriel Bowser uh, plans to use $31.5 million in American Rescue Plan uh, funds to transition homes to green energy over the next five years. Uh, as many small businesses were shut down, children lost two years in education, um, child suicide rates went up, and it's hard to even imagine a child committing suicide. Many people died from, from COVID. Uh, healthcare workers were fired from vaccine mandates. Many other people were fired because of vaccine mandates. Um, and all the issues that have come out of COVID I, I want to ask about how how this money has been spent, because clearly there is a tremendous amount of waste, fraud, and abuse, and, and a lot of our, our hard-earned taxpayers' dollars spent on things that don't even make sense that they've been spent on. Um, so, Mr. Dodaro, if you don't mind answering a few of my questions, um, can you tell me, as our comptroller of the United States, how much uh, COVID cash was given to abortion? I do not know that answer. I don't have that answer. Oh, okay. So I do. I can tell you Planned Parenthood clinics received $80 billion in COVID relief loans, um, which is hard to understand how that happened. Um, Mr. Dodaro, can you tell me how much money COVID cash went towards diversity, equity, and inclusion or racism issues? Again, I, we have not looked at that issue, so I don't know. Oh, geez. Well, I can tell you the Pennsylvania Human Humanities Council did receive $1.4 in relief and used it for equity and geographic diversity. Uh, I'm not sure how that helped in, in a pandemic time. Um, Mr. Dodaro, can you tell me uh, how, much, how much COVID cash went to CRT? CRT? Critical race theory in education. It's, it's a racist right. uh, uh, curriculum used to teach children uh, that somehow their white skin is not equal to black skin and other things in education? Yeah. Uh, no, I do not know that. But I, I do know that there's f provisions that the uh, federal funds generally are not used, they're supposed to be used for curriculum. Oh. That it's a state. Oh, Mr. Dodaro, I have to tell you, in Illinois, that they, they receive $5.1 billion um, at, at an elementary school there that, that used it for equity and diversity. Um, so it's, it's being used for these things. Uh, Mr. Dodaro, can you tell me how much money was given to Drag Queen Story Hour? The, the, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Who? Drag Queen Story Time, where, where men dress up as women and, and read confusing books to children. Okay. First, I thought you said dry clean. So, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I don't know the answer to either one of those two. Oh, we need to look into this, and I, I urge you to do that. Um, they, uh, Bradbury Sullivan LGBT Community Center in Pennsylvania received sixteen thousand uh, dollars for drag queen story time uh, from from COVID cash. Um, I think this is an issue that needs to be looked into. A lot of this money went to things that should have never gone to.